tuning in. My name is Nick Kaufman, and today I'm sitting down with one of my good friends and co-workers, Phil Lopez. Phil has always had a passion for drawing, and although Phil has faced many challenges in life, drawing is something that has always helped keep his head on straight. Today we're talking about the start of his career and what he's currently working on. <laughs> I'm tired as fuck, Phil. You're tired. I'm tired, don't me. Why are you tired? Huh? Why are you tired? Because I went to the church. Uh, I got there about 10.30ish yesterday. And I worked all to like 3 this afternoon. Today. Ah. So what do you... I, I fell asleep for like 3 hours. Well, I passed out in the parking lot. Well, I, I could have went to my cousin's, but I was like, why go over there? Because I want to come back to work. And I got <coughs> call to see, him, see about my fucking catalytic converter. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So what are you working on at the church right now? Uh, it's, it says we the people, and it has like a tree of life, and, and I don't know, it's, I just, whatever I go up there with, I just decide to do, you know? Well. So I don't have no plan, it, it just, what it, it just comes off my heart. something to you? Well, it's, it's actually, it's, we the people, it's for all of our rights, and it, it's like, we gotta start recognizing them, you know what I mean? And I don't know nothing about all that neither. I'm just going off what's what was wanted. What was wanted on the wall was just we the people. So off of that, I'm going off what I feel from the energy and stuff from around the. You know what, I mean? what got you first started yeah. into drawing, man? Let's go way to back to the beginning. Do you remember that first time, or do you remember what that first thing was that, you know, got you to pick up that pencil or pen and just start? Yeah, my uncle, well, there was this, we had moved into the house um, on Palmer, and we, we moved out the projects, and we moved into this house, and there was, like, an engraving of a horse on the door, so, but the horse was backwards, so my uncle drew, like, a D, like the Denver Bronco one. But the horse was backwards, so it was like a backwards D and shit on that. I was like, oh, that's cool. And then he just I was like, well, you want to start drawing? And because he was messing around with drawing, and I started going off of Conan comic books. How old would you say you were? I was about eight, seven. So your uncle kind of inspired you to start? Yeah, Conan comic books. And uh, well, my uncle and my my cousin, they were like cool. They were older. They're like eight, ten years older than me. So they were like all cool and shit. So I like, they got me into heavy metal and all kinds of shit. So I want to kind of, you know what I mean? Be like them or whatever. Just cool. My but uncle. Were they big into, were they big into drawing? No. My uncle don't even know that he, he inspired, he taught me how to draw. Like he didn't really teach me how to draw, but he showed me how to start drawing. You know what I mean? And he didn't even know he did that. And I told him that, he, I asked him if he drew and he's like, shh. I don't draw. I never drew. I was like, don't lie. Why you? Well, now, now you didn't ever show me how to draw. <laughs> With the chicks from Conan comic books. <laughs> so talk more about that. That the Conan comic books. Like no, well, I would just like look at the pictures, and then from there just draw each line. See, I see. A, look at the picture and say, all right, I need that line right here on this piece of paper, and then just. Would you ever trace, or were you... Nah, I don't trace. No? Never traced. No. Not even when I was little. Really? What about, what about, I guess, you know, going through, going through, like, teenage years? Were you still continuously drawing? Or yeah. Or was that something that you just did kind of, like, like, off to the side? No, I, I always drew, even had them hanging in my lockers and fucking drawed on desks, you know what I mean? Shit like that. I've always drawn Eddie from Iron Maiden. I used to draw him all the time. And that's just because, you know, the music and shit. So I don't know. I've always drawn. Never, never, ever have I not drawn. But you never ever wanted to go and pursue that into, like, schooling or anything? Nah. Just, well, at school, that was, like, the last thing on my mind. You know what I mean? Because I wasn't... You know, and actually most of what I learned is actually from being like locked up in the county jail and shit. Cause I've done a lot 
I've done way more county jail time than I've done prison time. I've done been in the county like getting locked up my whole life. You know what I mean? And even when I was a juvenile too, so I would just learn from other guys. I would sit at the table with them, other artists. Is that a big thing in the system, drawing? Well, that's how you make you make money and shit. So it's cool, especially if you ain't got nobody to feed you. You know what I mean? So you sell cards and shit like that. So how does that work then? I guess making money. And just trade. Artwork. Just like say somebody wants a card for their mom or some shit like that. Charge them two soups and give them a card. So it works like a barter system. Yeah. Like if some guy you know can make something really nice looking, you're like, hey man, I got a couple of these. Can you draw this for me? Can you not buy cards in the system? Oh well, yeah. But wouldn't you rather have something not nice from somebody that's a killer artist for yeah. all cheap? That's why I said I'm never, ever going to fucking sell any of my art for a fucking ramen noodle again in my life. Because, yeah, there's bad <laughs> thoughts associated with no, that. No, it's just that it's like I do too good of work for fucking to get paid fucking $2 for a fucking card or, fuck, you know what I mean? Ten dollars for a portrait or some stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? It takes too long and then they bitch and never do that shit again. So then what about okay, take me back to that evolution of drawn in prison, right? So I mean you went from like drawing cards and stuff, but what else would you draw from that? What could there could there any be anything there that would inspire you to draw, you know, from just Sitting in a blank room all day. You know what? Still, music in there inspires me to draw. Because I'll get a song in my head and I'll think of like something outside or whatever, whatever. I'll be like, there you go. That's what I'm doing. As long as I got something going in my head, it's... music and my art go together, hand in hand. Because even if there ain't no music playing, Outside, there's still something going on in my head, you know what I mean? Jamming. So then, <clears throat> what did you typically draw, I guess, in prison, though? I mean, did you have something that you kind of always was, like, a go-to? Yeah, for, like, people that wanted cards and shit, I would just... Roses and butterflies and lame shit like that. But then I got to a point where it's just like, if I fuck it, I'm just going to just draw my own shit, draw me my shit. And then once I start doing my own shit to kind of like show off, I do so good that people don't even want to come and hit me up because it's afraid I don't want to charge too much. You know what I mean? So you start building a rep in there. Yeah, but no, then I fucking, I do so good. I fucking don't get that fed that much. Because <laughs> people don't want to disrespect me by asking for a couple soups for... So, you know what I mean? That's done all killer. That's why I love black and white. And, like, Aub Aubrey Beardsley, um, the artist, I love all his work. He's, like, all black and white and shit. Because I don't need nothing but a... Psh, give me a fucking burnt charcoal from the ground. I'll make some beauty. You know what I mean? So that's kind of where I started finding myself. Not my Sally, but uh, the guy who lived next to me and the sound next to me. But uh, that's when he gave me that book, fucking uh, We're All Doing Time, a Bo Lozoff book. And that's when I started fucking doing the whole meditation thing and all that kind of stuff. What did that book teach you? It kind of like, well, because when I thought meditation, I thought like, oh, you got to be like Buddhist and blah, 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 yippity yap. And he kind of like broke it down to like, you could be whatever. And meditation and love is like the fundamentals of all good religions are all real religion or some shit like that. You know what I mean? So I was like, sick. Kind of dug it. And he goes, if you do it for 20 days, or how, does he, how does it put? Give it a try for 20 days, and if you don't like it, then stop. But I can guarantee you, you know, I don't say guarantee, but he goes, if you do it for 20 days, you're not going to stop. You know what I mean? And it worked. So then what, what did you start doing to change your lifestyle that, in those 20 days? No, well, it wasn't just 20 days because I just, what I did is I just started fucking meditating. Drawing and meditating, drawing and meditating. So like 
the whole day was meditating. I would stay up till like four in the morning meditating. I'd wake up at like six, well, five thirty whenever they showed uh, served breakfast and drew for a while, meditated, drew, meditated. Do you think all that time being in the system that allows you to have free time? Did that make you become a better drawer? Oh yeah. Actually, I've always just sat with other people and learned. Always, I every time I've got locked up, whatever, whatever is fucking. I, me myself, I just use it as an art or school. Actually, that's all I do is just draw. Hours at the table drawing. What about drawing that that makes you sit there and dedicate so much time to it? Mm, I like the detail. I like the detail. I like giving them to people because it makes people happy and shit. Get something that's all killer if I gave it to them, you know what I mean? So you like seeing a, a reaction from people from something that you made? Yeah. That's why I like coming over here to the to the coffee shop. Valley Cat, you know? Because, like, like, even, like, old girl, the, the what are they called? Bertistas? Bertistas? <laughs> she, she's, uh, she's seen me start, well, psh, probably, like, 10, 12 feet pieces and probably finish, you know what I mean? They see me in there just drawing. Now I ain't got no lady or nothing, so all I do is just sit there with my headphones and just sit there for hours. Yeah, I sit at the alley cap. I've sat at the alley cap for like 20 hours before. Because it don't ever close, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you don't mind just sitting down and just going, right? Fuck no. If I could do it, if I didn't have to go to work or nothing, if I could just sit and say if I had me a little studio or some shit like that. Or even just a fucking room with fucking a desk. I would just sit there and if I could, I would just draw all day, all night. I would do nothing but art. You know what I mean? <laughs> Tell me about the church, man. Tell me about the church. You're doing this big piece, right? Yeah. I tell you, since I've started doing the the work at the church... I don't know. The energy is calling me over there. It's calling me over there like a lot. Not to move over there because I don't think I don't more. What I do don't mean? think it's call it's the energy wants me over there. It what likes you, me and it enjoys me. I feel as soon as I walk in those doors just happy. I just feel happy to be at the place I love. Cuz what I got is a fucking like I don't even know how long that fucking wall is. It's fucking a big ass wall. And it's all mine, and I can just put my headphones on and just fucking smoke bud and do what I love to do. And it's the shit. And people around me, I love them, and I, yeah, it's the shit. And where's now, this? Don't get me wrong, I do love look when I'm up on that ladder, like upside down and shit like that. And people watch me and shit like that. I dig that shit. You know what I mean? It's cool. Do you like people praising your work? Yeah. You get a sense of pride from that? Fuck yeah. People take pictures of it and all kinds of shit. P take pictures in front of it and it's not even done. How long do you think you have left on there? Ah, a long time. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I like doing this wall because it's pretty much... That's your wall. You know what I mean? So I don't have to hear, oh, you're going to, it's just whatever I put up there is what's going to be up there, you know what I mean? So do you say drawing is basically your meditation? Yeah, I, I guess it's always been my meditation. So I don't know, but now that I know how to use meditation for that, you know what I mean? How to focus it on that. Killing shit, killing shit. Has that made your drawings better? Oh, yeah. I think. 
feel where do you see your art leading you now, man? I mean you I mean you've gone from doodling shit as a kid, right, to drawing for for food in prison to now getting paid to draw at the church? No. I'm a volunteer. I just do it for love because I love the church. I love the people there and I love art. And they gave me a whole wall. How can I say no to a whole wall? And I could go in there and smoke weed and look at the wall. But it's worth the blood, sweat, and tears. Yeah. No, it's it's all worth it. To have people proud of me. Like this right here that you're doing with me. Made my whole family all because I showed them the pilot thing. It's, it's how I'm proud. I'm doing good. No crime. No drugs. Just working hard. Being faithful. And staying positive. And like every, every morning I text my mom my sister and my daughters every morning keep up with that spirituality have to and it's mainly because I, I've my daughters have a lot of resentment resentment with me and just the way shit's been you know what I mean mm-hmm. so it's like I can't be like, oh, dad's going to do this, and now dad's going to be good and not going to get in no trouble because they've heard that. So it's like I got to show them that I'm at least doing something. So me dropping that text every morning is at least to tell them that I'm getting up like a grown motherfucker and I love you. And I don't expect no text back from them. I'm just letting them know that I love them. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because... Spreading the positive vibe. Yeah, I just have to start showing that I want to be better. You know what I mean? And is that art a step in the right direction for you? Mm. <laughs> you know, my daughters with my and my art, I've given them so much art and shit like that. And sorry cards, or I don't even know, really know what it is. It, I don't know. It's been years since I gave them some. Maybe I should do something for them one of these days. I don't know. But they got to like, I don't know. I felt like got to where they didn't even want nothing no more. Well, because I was in jail, giving them shit from jail. Who wants something from jail? You know what I mean? Well, who my daughters, my kids don't want something from me from jail. You know what I'm saying? They would rather have me out. You know? So I, I get it. Oh, I get it. I get it. That's an epiphany. Epiphany. Got that shit, oh man. What's the epiphany? That fucking, what's it called? Because I always thought that my daughters just was, like, tired of getting, they didn't dig my pictures because they were, I gotta gave them so many of them. And it's just like, oh, whatever, whatever. Now I know why. It's because I'm locked up. Why do they want something that I'm locked up from when I'm locked up? You know what I mean? I, 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 had it, I had it thought, like, they didn't want them no more. Like, they just kind of like, ah, whatever, and just threw it to the side. You know what I mean? But now I know why I, I, I got that fucking vibe from it is because, yeah, because, yeah, oh, another card from dad in jail, you know what I mean? Another card from dad in jail. That's why, that was epiphany, you know? So, Phil, where, do you, see, do you see art taking you in some sort of positive direction later down the road now that you got the church? thing going for you? Do you see on like bigger and better things? Or professional things? Yes, I do. But you know what? You know what I really want to do, homie? I want to get the other half of my GED. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to do that this fucking enrollment thing. I only need to do half. Might as well get that shit, you know what I mean? Kind of busy, but whatever. If you want to find out more, stay tuned for my written piece, which I will link along with this podcast once it's finished.